What up, y'all? So, you know, I've been telling you guys how I've been having these squat roller coasters. Sometimes I'm hitting dope ass numbers and it feels really easy. And then sometimes the same number I just paused for three, I'm grinding it on like a touch and go. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So, today is hella crazy because today I had an entire squat roller coaster in one session. So, I'm starting to prep for my meet in States. And uh, I wanted to make sure I felt heavyweight on my back, so now I'm doing heavy singles. But the biggest thing that I felt like made me feel like a bitch is I finally switched over to Texas Squat Bar now because I love the way I feel after I've been training with the Texas Squat Bar. And then when I go compete and it's a tiny itty bitty bar, I just feel like a monster. So I switched over to Texas Squat Bar and immediately everything just starts feeling heavy. 135, well actually it's not 135, it's 145 feels heavy, 235 feels heavy, 325, everything just feels heavy. The bar is thick and it weighs you down. And I thought I was gonna be able to start my first single at 425, but when I hit 405, I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker ain't going anywhere. So I took it again, I treated it as if it was a meat. And if at a meet, if I don't get three white lights, I have to retake the weight. I'm not gonna just jump up. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm just being a little bitch. So I put on 415, boom. That was way faster than my two other 405. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'm back on track. So at the end, when I hit my top set of 435 though, I was like, dude, I gotta prove to myself that I can fucking do this shit. So instead of hitting it for the single, after I hit it, I was like, motherfucker, I'm gonna fucking smash this motherfucker. <laughs> So I ended up hitting 435 for three, although I did have some depth issues, but I was just focused on hitting the motherfucking weight. So uh, I, I did have some depth issues and I always have spotters watching me, so don't worry. I know a lot of you guys are like, dude, it seems like you have depth issues, but I've never had a depth issue at a meet, so don't even worry about it. At USPA meets, sometimes the refs be falling asleep on you like you'll be rest at the bottom like okay it's been like three seconds can you say press please so I want to make sure that I'm prepped for that you know I never feel like it's ever the game's fault or the referee's fault I always feel like it's the player like if you're not adjusted to the game and if you're not prepared for anything that can happen it's your fault so I wanted to make sure that I paused for a long time and I can explode out of the hole so I did banded um, three second press bench and I also did accessories with my front squats to get my quads a little bit more developed because I got these bitch ass motherfucking legs. And then I finished off with some sled work and also some heavy deficit deadlifts. And overall, I was really, really happy. Like what I learned, did my voice just right? So overall, I'm actually really happy because the workout started off really, really shaky and kind of in like, a, uh, a bad note, you know, I was kind of getting down on myself, but I was like, you know what? I can't let my, my emotions, my, my my motherfucking emotions get the best of me, because if I'm at the meet, what am I going to do? If I have a shitty opener, am I just going to fucking walk around and pout and be a little bitch, or am I going to suck it the fuck up and make logical adjustments according to how my workout is? And I think that's a great analogy for life, too. Like, if shit ever holds you down or shit ever knocks you down, don't be a little bitch and be like, oh, you know what happened? How come that guy got the best grade in class? Or how come this? Or how come he didn't get fired? I got fired. You know what? If you get fired, immediately stand back up, go find another fucking job and hustle. Because there ain't no use in fucking sulking in your misery. It's all about moving forward. Peace. For you, I've seen that you're come when you're in the car, you're making it. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> you're doing the makeup in the gym. Did you just have a Freudian slip? <laughs> Ready? Yes, you did. Uh-oh. Come on, Alex. I mean, come on, man. Did I just finish? Oh, 